the mule is, you know, the last person of the chain. The last of the last of the last. I was in Colombia, in Medellin, when I was young. I know very well that last period of the school family. Now, my clients really, and I saw the recruiting of the mules. I saw with my eyes. The minimum chain is composed by four subjects, at least, at least. In general, there is the cartel, the transporter, the vector, the buyer, and the pusher. That's it. Make Kaylee uh, or other person. It's, sim it's a simple no little number. It's a simple little number uh, among a huge turnover. That's it. That's it. And so roughly, what is that turnover? Like, how much is the cocaine business in Ibiza worth? Ibiza was three, four months per year, very strongly. But I can tell you that I think that we are talking about at least uh, three, four hundred thousand euros per day. From that to, to half a million. And it's a, a serious business, really, not, not, so, not so little. I cannot talk directly about Michele case, but in reality, the person giving 12 kilos to Michele knows that he can lose this 12 kilos and he doesn't care about losing or not to lose. It's like a Volkswagen or a Citroën, they know they have some losses per year. It's, uh, you know, the predicted losses of, a, of an enterprise. Pablo Escobar, he, he received $80 million per day. $80 million per day. It's a lot of money, really. So, you know, and many times the cartels want that the mule is arrested. This is the truth. Seriously. Uh, let's let's tell the truth. Uh, they prepare police. Of course, at the same time, they are making passing through 300 kilo in the same plane. You know, this is one of the classical game. This is called chivaton in Spanish. Chivaton is like the bird, the birds singing chivaton. You know, and they call the police, they're telling, okay. Ah, there is a lady with some drugs uh, passing by. At the same time, three guys are making exit. 300 kilos, 400 kilos of drug. It's very common. This is not Oxford or Cambridge, you know, and uh, so what you is can Is she expect? threatened? Of course she is. They are very tricky. They are very tricky. Cartels are very, very, very tricky. Uh, shut up, keep the mouth shut. That's the standard. I don't know what happened in, in the McKaylee case, but in general, I can tell you that the cartels know also the family and the friends of the mule. So they know who's the mule, of course, but they let understand mule that something wrong can happen to the family if, the, if she speaks in case of, uh, in case of arrest. If you give to the police any kind of, 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 of tricky thing, you know, what kind of problem they can get in with that conduct? It's very dangerous. It's very not, you know, nice to tell, but it's, it's, it's the reality. I want to be clear, people that move more fastly they, they, they die very fastly also. If I'm a member of a cartel and I want to kill or do something wrong against Michaela, I can do it in three seconds. And I can tell you more. It's not necessary that I hire a carrier to kill her. Maybe police can kill her. 
I'm sorry about that, but it's, it's, it's the reality. If we are talking about drug and, and, and drug trafficking and, and the trade of the drugs, you understand that have mercy, you, you don't need to have mercy. You need to understand our world is a very, very, very tough place in general. To kill a person is a business of two, three seconds. You can hire a, a, a sicario in a Peruvian jail, and they can kill her. They can even, you know, strangle the woman, and nobody has seen anything in the night, or given some poison. In Colombia and Peru, they have this buruchanga. This is like a drug. It's a few grams of things. They put it in a Coca-Cola, in a in a glass of water, you're dead. So imagine what kind of threat can receive Michaela. If you legalize the cocaine, you destroy a market. But nobody wants to do so. Cartel don't want the legalization because they want the prices high. They want to earn money. All the cartels help the political campaigns of politicians that fight the drugs. The money has a very strange, strange, strange effect. <laughs> Many of these lawyers, there are more bandits than, 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 than the clients, promise families something that they can't. They say a lot of, uh, of lies. They say, well, I know I know the judge, uh, I can pay some bribe, give me the money. They are very tricky and, and dangerous.